Hey, Travis, harsh words, hateful emails, Albuquerque City Councilors dealing with an immigration backlash. Last Monday, four councilors tried to overturn a new city policy, allowing federal agents to check the immigration status of people arrested here. Even though the councilors did not succeed, they are still feeling the heat. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez joins us live with more. Crystal. Tim, councilors say they didn't kid themselves thinking everyone was going to be on their side of the immigration debate, but one of the councilors said today he sure didn't expect to hear this kind of talk. You expect people to disagree, and you expect people to uh, have a lively and passionate discussion, but not to be vitriol and not to be so nasty. Nasty seems tame when someone calls you a traitor to America. Councilor Ray Garduño says it's a first for him. Not at all. Not at all. The writers of some emails didn't mince any words like this one. Others, Garduño says, went way too far. Say that you're a wetback lover and, a, you know, you must be a... Friend of all, uh, the counselor says it wasn't just one or two, more like 200. I deleted most of them because they just are not worthy of the space on my hard drive. And he says he's not the only one. Counselors Isaac Benton, Debbie O'Malley, and Council President Ken Sanchez were all hit with hate-filled emails. All four counselors voted to overthrow Mayor R.J. Berry's policy that allows federal officials to check the immigration status of everyone that's arrested in Albuquerque. Sanchez says he's received the most, more than 400. While many threatened his job, it didn't stop there. One emailer threatened to talk trash against the city itself to slow down tourism, saying, quote, it will be fun screwing with this pathetic city. Another emailer even took a jab at President Obama. Sanchez and Garduño say this is the most hate mail they've ever received. But you know where it comes from. It comes from hate and fear. But it didn't scare them or change their minds. Both say they would still vote the same way today. I won't kowtow to anyone who thinks that they can scare me. Garduño, Sanchez, and O'Malley say a lot of the hate mail came from out of state, and we've also heard even some of the council's secretaries received a few calls that made them so upset they actually burst into tears. Tim? Thank you, Crystal. As for the other side of the debate, Councillor Don Harris, who supports the new city policy, says he's been called a racist over his vote. Well, he says he's not. He's not surprised over the comment because it is such an emotional issue.